I'm here to maintain a client's cold storage, replacing the compressor and refrigerating oil. It's been used for over two years, so it's time for a change. Turn off the switch. First, close the compressor return valve and cap the oil fill port. Close the oil return pipe valve. Press the compressor contactor with a screwdriver. The compressor is in a vacuum state and the pressure is getting lower and lower. After vacuuming, quickly close the compressor exhaust valve. Remove the process port of the exhaust valve and cover it with a cloth to prevent refrigerant and oil from spraying out under high pressure. The high pressure drops rapidly. Remove the return oil pipe. You can remove the oil outlet screw now. Put the engine oil in a container. Take out the filter inside. Use the old refrigerating machine oil to clean the impurities from the filter screen. Wipe clean with a dust-free cloth and reinstall the filter element and spring. Tighten the screw. You can add oil while vacuuming. Fill it up to the middle of the oil side glass, and that's fine. After refueling, reattach the return oil pipe to the oil separator position. Tighten the oil. Continue the vacuum pump to evacuate all the air from the compressor. Turn off the pressure gauge. Turn off the vacuum pump. Vacuuming completed. Open the exhaust valve. Open the return valve. And open the oil return valve. After the valves are opened, there is already pressure inside the compressor. Now, leak detection can be performed. It is found that the return valve float joint is leaking. Continue to tighten the return valve until it no longer leaks. Check all other possible leak sites. Turn on the machine. The water pump starts. Cooling tower start. Unit start. Pressure is normal. Oil change is complete. There are many methods for changing the refrigeration oil. And I will share other methods in the future. So please stay tuned.